What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nasher. Welcome back to the channel. Now you guys know nor now you guys know it's a rare occurrence when I do a best of both worlds news video. Today is gonna be one of those days, including the latest on well, we have two more new spell and traps for for the Crystal Beast uh, structure deck, I believe. Yeah, 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 for the Crystal Beast uh, structure deck, including some reprints that, well, you won't believe are going to be the reprints of the set. You guys won't believe it. Uh, there's also a new, a brand new uh, set coming out. Ah! A brand new, a brand new uh, core set, perhaps, coming out. I believe it's a core set. I'm gonna have to take a look. Uh, I believe this is also yeah. I I believe I believe this is a uh, oh no 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 oh no oh, no 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 no. This is actually the um, the next uh, side set. I I believe yeah yeah. So this is gonna be the the next side set for for the OCG, and also some WWE news, including the latest on what the future holds. For the Hall of Famer Edge after what happened on Raw, and this first one that I'm going to be talking about is an update on Cody Rhodes and when he could possibly return. And before and before we get started with the video, if you guys enjoyed this uh, this video and you guys want more Best of Both Worlds videos in the future, which again don't happen often, but it's a rare occurrence, obviously. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any future content. And as always, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. The links will be in, in the description, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. Let's get straight into it. Obviously, obviously, we know that that yesterday Cody Rhodes yesterday had had um had surgery on his torn pectoral muscle, um, which uh, he he decided to defy the pain barrier uh, to fight to wrestle Seth Rollins inside Hell in a Cell. Um, which, if you, which, it's, it's insane. It's insane how... A man like Cody Rose could ever endure that much pain. It is absolutely insane. Um, but what's interesting, what's interesting is, is that his his match with with Seth Rollins. This wasn't their first encounter. In fact, actually, during Seth's you know early tenure in WWE, he would battle Co you know Cody Rose several times beforehand. But and the rivalry was just basically 50-50. This this one, this rivalry, this re, this current rivalry, it was one-sided. Cody Rhodes had been has been on fire since coming back to WWE, having probably one of the most incredible you know you know win-loss streaks we had seen in quite some time on Raw, and um, now he's going to be facing a very lengthy period. Uh, of time um, um, on the sidelines um, for for a while, um, apparently, um, apparently, apparently, uh, apparently, according to according to to. P to PW Insider. Apparently, they're going to be. Apparently, Rose will be out. Will be out of action for at least six months. So it's so it's going to be a possibility that he'll be out. That he'll be out until the Royal Rumble, which will be which will take place inside the Alamo Dome in San Antonio next January, which is a which is a possibility. But at but at the same time, um, but. At, but at the same time, if you look at the superstars who've had pectoral in injuries in the past, you know, you know, like Randy Orton, he was out for, he was only out, out for like, for like four or five months. Look at John Cena, 2007. 2007. Okay. 
No Mercy 2007, it was supposed to have been a last man standing match between both John Cena and Randy Orton for the for the for the WWE title. And Orton Randy Orton had took him out with a with a torn pectoral, which so which he was supposed to have been gone for, for at least a year. Came back three months later and won won the 2008 Royal Rumble. Is it possible that Ro that Co Cody Rhodes could be in that in, in that predicament? It's a possibility, but we don't really know. All all we know at this point is that Cody Rhodes, after what happened this past Sunday at Hell at Hell in a Cell, and as far as and after what Seth Rollins did to Cody, um, on Raw the the next night, he will def he will be out out indefinitely for for about six months, maybe another. Maybe another two if um, maybe an another another two if the injuries go directly up in into the neck, because if you guys remember this past Monday on Raw, Seth Rollins took a sledgehammer and hit Rhodes in Rhodes on his neck. So it's a possibility that his neck could also become a factor in the in in the recovery time, babe, so to speak. So it's a possibility, but. But only time will tell. There will be obviously, obviously there will be more updates um, in the coming weeks, perhaps, maybe even the maybe even in the coming months. So make sure you guys um, stay tuned. Um, um, stay tuned to the channel for more for 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 more info. But shout outs to Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. Best of luck. Um, hope I'm presuming the surgery went went, went well. Um, we'll see. We'll see what, what the future holds for the American Nightmare. But now I want to shift into some Yu-Gi-Oh news really quickly and talk about the two new cards that are going to be in the Crystal Beast structure, like including some more reprints. The first new spell. Is a quick play spell. It is called Awakening, Awakening of the Crystal Lord, which is a quick play spell, and it says activate one of these. And it says, and it says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. It says, reveal one ultimate crystal monster in your hand to activate activate one of these effects, or, or if you control an ultimate crystal monster, activate one or both effects. Take one bridge card, except Evolutionary Bridge, which I believe is the, or, or I guess not. Um, except, except Evolutionary Bridge, S Force Bridge, and Stellar, and Stellar Knight Sky Bridge, or one Rainbow Refraction from your deck, and either to your, add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Okay, so okay, so apparently, so apparently, I guess this card could could potentially work with the S Force, but it just depends on what. On if on whether or not you play you play play the Crystal Beast in the S Force deck. Uh, the second effect re the other effect reads special win one Crystal Beast monster from your hand, deck, graveyard, or spell and trap zone. So it's basically a much more it's basically it's basically spell it's basically spell and trap rota slash monster reborn cyber ref system Crystal Promise, I guess. Um, it's not too bad. Um, and apparently, there's no here that says, that says this card searches Rainbow Bridge and Bridge of Salvation, which I believe was the. Um, which I believe is was one of the new cards um, in in the set. So not too bad, not too bad. And then the other. New card. I don't know if there'll be any more, but obviously you guys can definitely stay tuned to the channel channel to find out. We have Crystal Brilliance, and it's a continuous trap that reads that reads if you control only one. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, no, sorry, sorry, no, sorry. It actually has three effects. The first effect reads you can only control one Crystal Brilliance. Second effect reads Crystal Be Crystal Beast monsters you control gain attack equal to their original defense. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Being able to just go for game off ju just off of this one card alone, that's pretty good. Third effect reads: If a Crystal Beast card or cards is placed in your in your back row, even during the damage step, you can send this face up 
card from, from your back row to the grave. Special summon a Crystal Beast monster from hand or grave. Also, any damage you take this turn is cut in half. That's actually not too bad. It basically just just ensures that you don't that you don't lose all of, all, all of your life points, and you're basically able to to you're basically able to stick around for for an additional turn. And even with even with the second effect, that's not too bad. Being able to just go for games really quickly like that that ain't too shabby. Next up, now for the reprints, and what you guys are about to hear is absolutely in absurd. The other reprints are Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, Rainbow Bridge, The Melody of Awakening Dragon, Cosmic Cyclone, Ultimate Crystal Magic, Metaverse, Rainbow Over Dragon, Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, and Crystal Bond. So we all know what what Crystal Bond does, it allows you to add a a Crystal Beast to your hand from your deck, and then a and then a Crystal Beast from your front from your deck face up into your back row, which is not too bad, which will help which could help with Ancient City Rainbow Ruins, because if you have four because if you get four crystals in, in your back row, you get you get an additional draw during 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 the turn, which is not too bad. Metaverse is okay, um, not the best. I would prefer using terraforming, but still not too bad. Co but ultimate crystal magic acts as sort of like a a weird version of pol of polymerization uh, to summon out the crystal, the rainbow dragon fusions, which is not not. Not too bad. Melody is not that great, great with this deck because you're pretty much guaranteed to see the Crystal Beast Dragons at some, you know, you know, just off of like drawing, you know, drawing a bunch of cards and whatnot. So, not the best. Co but Cosmic Cyclone, I mean, it's back row removal. You can't go wrong with that. Rainbow Bridge is basically Spell and Trap Rota. Ghost Spell focuses on effects in the graveyard, which is pretty good. And then Haman actually can. Can do some work. That card can do a lot of work, which is not too bad. But now, I now we need to talk about Edge's future. What does the future hold for the Hall of Famer? Well, if you guys remember this past Monday on Raw, we found out that Finn Balor, the Prince, has decided to join uh, join the Judgment Day and thus turning heel. Hang on, guys. My lens, my camera lens looks a little foggy. Give, give, give me a second, guys. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. So, sorry, guys. I had to use this clean this uh, this cloth to clean the lens, the cam the camera lens to not make the not not make the screen be foggy, basically. Anyway. Um, so apparently, uh, Edge is back being a babyface again. It's weird. It's weird because, because you guys know that when Edge came back, even, even before, you know, e even when Edge came back to WWE at the beginning, at the beginning, at the beginning of 2010, he he was essentially a babyface. The world wanted to see Edge come back, and he came back all right. He ended up he ended up uh, winning the the twenty ten the 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 twenty ten Royal Rumble. Went went on to WrestleMania and challenged for for the world title. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did become a heel at some point, but it was it was only temporary. He ended up being traded back back over over to SmackDown. And he and he ended up becoming a babyface for for the rest of, for the rest of his um, his full time career. And now, you know, and you know, and when he came back, you know, you know, a couple years ago, he he was a babyface for you know th throughout this whole time. Now you know now he be he he ended up becoming a heel, forming you know forming you know forming the Judgment Day with Damian Priest and of course. Rhea Ripley, and now this bullshit. Um, yeah, uh, Finn Balor joined, ended up joining the Judgment Day after their match at Hell, at, at Hell in the Cell. 
and thus all three turned their back on Edge, and now Edge is a babyface again. Apparently, uh, apparently Mike Johnson from PW Insider, uh, big shout out, no copyrights, you guys know how house works with the algorithm, um, reported that WWE decided to flip, flip to, and I know that, that this is a metaphor, but they, they said to flip the script on Edge from, from being a heel to a babyface once again on the roster, and, and apparently it was expected. It was expected to happen. Um, which actually, which this group started at WrestleMania 38, where Damian Priest was recruited by Edge to help beat AJ Styles at, at WrestleMania. And then. And now this bullshit. Um, with, you know, and with Cody Rhodes out with his. With his with his pectoral injury, out for about out for for about six months, maybe up, up to a year, as I had talked about earlier. Edge is now going to be the top babyface on Raw, literally the top ba babyface on Raw, and as far as uh, whether or not that is a thing, it remains. It remains to be seen, but we will have, um, but there will be more info on that, but we all know that Damien Priest decided to hit, um, hit, and ended up hitting Edge with a concerto, and he was completely injured. Um, But we don't know as far as as far as whether or not Edge will be will be off Raw. It's hard to say. It's it's hard to say. But all we can tell you, all we can tell you at this point is that we don't really know exactly what's going on. Um, um don't we don't really know exactly what's going to go on as far as the future goes for Edge but all I can tell you is that Edge will could Edge could definitely be out for a little bit mate for about about a couple weeks um which would that which would potentially lead into a into a six man tag a, a six person mixed tag which would be which would be Liv Morgan, AJ Styles, and Edge against Judgment Day, sort of like a role a role reversal for for both Edge and Finn Balor. But we don't really know exactly. There will be we we will have more info as the weeks progress on Raw. So definitely stay tuned for that. But with that being said, we have a brand new set coming out for the for the OCG. It'll be released this coming October. I'm assuming this will be released in the TCG at the end at the end of the year. It is known as Photon Hypernova. It will be released. Apparently, that is the t the temporary name. We don't know if that will be the true name of it or not. But the name again, again, the name of the set is Photon Hypernova, and it's going to be the third site set for the year. Uh, again, released on 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 October fifteenth. And the big question is this. Um, what exactly can we expect? Wait, hold on a second. Is it a 30 packs? Okay, okay. You know what? Hold on. Looking at it now, I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know if it's going to be a sight set or a core set. I don't know. I'm assuming it might be a core set. I don't really know exactly. But... But... I will be talking about what we could expect to see in this set, and I think the one thing that that, that we can expect, as the name the, as the, the the name suggests, photons, galaxy. We're getting we we're getting new galaxy support. It's been a while, but we're finally we're, we're finally getting it. There will be more updates on it as far as like what cards will be in the set. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I don't know if this is going to be a a rush tool set. Which I don't think so, but we will see. But that, but I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what cards are going to be in this set. But that brings me to the question of the day. 
And that is this. What are you guys' thoughts on Finn Balor joining the Judgment Day and what do you think the Judgment Day will do now that Edge is out of the Judgment Day? Let me know down in the comments below and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, Make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more best of both worlds, best of both worlds videos in the future, which don't happen often, but again, we all know. Make sure, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. And if you guys have any fan mail that you guys want to send me and you guys want me to open it up on the channel. All the info will be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.